Hello once again, everyone. Keta Kosman, publisher of Madison's Lumber Reporter, here at the last day of August to give you some sweet, sweet data on U.S. Uh, new home sales, house prices, and another data set that came out just today, the FHFA quarterly home sale prices and the Case Shiller. And they're up. It's all up. The home prices in the U.S. Uh, broke records for three months in a row. So I'm going to talk about the relationship between that data and my lumber prices. Uh, this is following on a video I just made for the uh, U.S. Housing Starts and permits using my lumber prices, again, to provide an analysis of the situation with the real estate market. And this should really give confidence that the underpinning of demand for lumber uh, building material is not going to stop quickly, um, anytime soon really. Uh, we don't know uh, how long this uh, upward trend will last, but we do know that it's not going to just stop or reverse you know, quickly uh, within one month. And so um, let's look at the graphs and the data right now, and then I'll come back with a little bit of a wrap up to explain uh, what is happening with the lumber prices right now to be able to provide some kind of foreshadowing for what can be expected when the uh, next few months of housing data uh, does start to come out. New home sales in the U.S. is the black line. Uh, the three colored lines are the benchmark 2x4 construction framing prices I keep talking about. It's important to note that for the past three months, data was adjusted up for the new home sales in the U.S. So we have a 1% increase in July of 2021 compared to June and a 27% decrease compared to July of 2020. Things that uh, matter... The months of supply of homes for sale is back to what would be considered normal for the past two months at about um, 6.2 months worth of homes on the market. And a record number of 105,000 homes not yet started are uh, for sale, which is uh, 1.8 months worth and approximately two times the normal amount. The total supply of homes for sale inventory is up 7.3% from June of 2021 and is down 12% from July of 2020. Uh, it's at 1.3 million units right now. That all bodes really well for the direction of that blue line, uh, Western Spruce Pine Fir 2x4 prices uh, for 2021. You can see it's just reaching down to where it was in 2019 at about US uh, $390 per thousand board feet. Of course, we will only know as the months pass by, but it does look like the end of this year could have some strength to it. Now, prices for new home are really spectacular and not slowing down at all. So that's the black line, the median price of a new house up 18% compared to one year ago uh, at US $390,000. I think it's really important to notice that 50% of new homes uh, for prices were between $200,000 and $400,000. The fastest growing segment is between $400,000 and $500,000. That is the census data that comes out every month. At the same time, just now came out some home price data out of the FHFA, which is quarterly, which is uh, indicating that the price of uh, new homes in the U.S. is up 17.4% compared to one year ago and up 5% compared to first quarter. Also, the Case-Shiller House Index came out that is um, really uh, breaking records uh, for the past 30 years. New home prices are up 19% compared to one year ago and are up 17% from May third month in a row for record-breaking house prices. Okay, and so the real takeaway for me, which uh, I am stressing and I think is important to focus on, uh, you know, the uh, continuing upward momentum of house prices since December 2020, all the way through until now, so July 2021, uh, 
climbing up and uh, surpassing any uh, previous records for a sustained amount of time. That's a good indication uh, for you know ongoing building and home selling activity. The other thing is the inventory of homes available. Uh, it's better than it was. Uh, really alarming, uh, just uh, two or three months worth of uh, homes for sale on the market. That's uh, uh, too too few. Uh, so that um, amount is coming back up. Uh, but uh, something that's really worth paying attention to is uh, the homes on the market not yet started. I mean, the homes with intention to sell not yet started. Uh, these are also uh, record-breaking numbers. And so what this says is that uh, building material, uh, lumber, is going to continue to be in high demand. And so the lumber prices that I show you uh, now are for now. You know, the uh, data is weekly for that week. The housing starts and the uh, home sales and house price data is monthly for the previous month. So like I'm explaining, permits are up. July means September starts will be up, but we won't find that out until October. So all of these things in combination really start to let you know a good uh, impression of what's happening in the marketplace and uh, what to expect. And then... Um, when you know October comes around and we see what's happening with the lumber prices and that housing starts and the permits uh, start to come out, then we'll be able to say how this year is going to end. Um, but it's pretty re it's pretty well assured that next year will start strong, uh, at least for six months or a year. You know, really a lot of people in the industry uh, for real estate and for suppliers to building are saying it's another year and a half of um, really strong activity. So check back often, subscribe here on my YouTube, go on my, web my website and read up uh, the writing that I do with the graphs, uh, subscribe um, to the actual dashboard uh, to get the prices every week. And um, during uh, the next few weeks after Labor Day, uh, we really will have a better idea of where the market is and we'll come back and give you more updates at that time.